Hey, what's up guys? Wally with Beach River Landscapes. Today I wanted to talk to you about something that is really important to me and I'm sure it's important to a lot of you guys. Dealer or brand? What is more important to you when it comes to buying a mower? Let's get started. Don't touch my All right guys, we're sitting down here at my dining room table and I just want to talk to you. When it comes to buying a mower or any piece of equipment really, um, I think for me what I have come to learn over the years is a significant defining factor when it comes to buying a piece of equipment. Um, and this can be correlated to buying a vehicle, or, you know, just buying anything. Um, and I think it's a common sense question, but I can tell you for me over the years, it wasn't something that really defined where I bought my piece of equipment. When it comes to buying a mower, um, I think it's different than buying, you know, stick, piece of equipment, hedge trimmers, you know, weed eaters, all that stuff. So I think that we can, you know, for me personally, it's safe to say, if I go out and buy a hedge trimmer, edger, or weed eater, the dealer support on that is not as significant. Um, I mean, anywhere near close is significant as the support when buying a mower. You know, buying something for four or five hundred bucks versus ten thousand, eleven thousand, twelve thousand dollars, I think there's a big difference there. I'm not saying it's not important, it really is important. Um, but you know, we just don't I don't really see the types of issues with stick equipment within the warranty time that I see with mowers within the warranty time. So for me, I think that's why it's such a big deal to to really take this into consideration, um, especially from now on. This is kind of a deciding thing like the last year or so. Um, it's gonna really dictate where we buy a machine and what we buy. So on that, let's just start, do a little bit of history. So let's just say in the last, the last five years I've owned three different brands of mowers, um, starting off I'm not in the beginning. I mean, the very first thing I owned was a Gravely. Um, let me go ahead and hit on that. Let's just jump in there. So the first thing I ever owned was a Gravely. You know, I don't, it's, this is very significant anyway. So first thing I ever owned was a Gravely. It was a 1536. It was a 36-inch mower. It was a hydro, um, you know, 36-inch walk behind, you know, sulky and all that stuff. Great mower, right? I mean, that thing got me through everything. You know what I'm saying? Like it, that, that is what got me through, um, you know, lawn maintenance and being able to learn how to do everything, you know, to graduate to the next level. But why didn't I buy another Gravely after that? It had nothing to do with the mower. Those things are phenomenal. Most mowers are really awesome. I, th I think that most mowers are really good. I don't think there's any one brand that does not have an issue. So let's just, you know, let's be fair with that. So, um, the dealer, the dealer was so bad. I, I, along with so many other landscapers, after spending the money that we spend in these places and being treated the way that you can be treated in some of these places, I, I, I never stepped foot in there again. Um, after several purchases, you know, bought you know a bunch of steel products and all that stuff, um, you know, the Gravely. Um, and after that, I never stepped foot back in there again, and I didn't buy a Gravely because of that. You know what I'm saying? Just because of that. Um, but. And I'm gonna say, knowing now, I wish I knew now what I knew then, and a lot of you guys are the then, and I'm telling you this stuff now because you're gonna learn some couple little points here that hopefully um, will you know kind of help your purchasing um, you know process. So there are a lot of things that I know now that I just I was clueless about, didn't know to look for. YouTube wasn't a thing back then. I mean, it was barely a thing. Period. More or less having lawn care and landscaping on it. So. When it comes to when it comes to information that you need, um, it, it's it's come down to a question: brand or dealer. So after that, I ended up buying Xmark. Um, I own a few different mowers. I bought a Lesco, and that that thing was like so awesome. The 2008 was the last year I think they made it. Um, the front end pivoted. I think um, Ferris finally took that um, that patent idea, and um, they're doing that. Um, so anyways, it was just a really, really, really awesome mower and I loved it, but it had a lot of problems. The dealer was great, but the brand ended up just taking, you know, a tank, just tanking and it just ended up sucking. So I ended up buying X marks. Okay. I didn't know any, much about the dealer. Um, they put like packages together and all this stuff. It was just really cool thing that they got going on a selling point. They were big. Everybody seemed happy. Bought the mowers, bought uh, some echo pole saws, bought a whole bunch of stuff from them. Right. It's like $26,000 or something with the stuff, you know, in a short period of time. 
Um, started having problems with the X marks, started having problems with the hydros, with, um, with pulleys right away. Um, the dealer support was so disturbing, um, that it led to so many, so many days of anxiety and anger and all that. The dealer support was just, was so bad. It was so bad. And again, here's another thing, you know, like the first dealer um, was so bad, it put the taste of Gravely out of my mouth. You know what I'm saying? And it had nothing to do with Gravely. And it's it's not really not fair. Like, I own a business and let one of my guys screws up really bad. And it takes, you know, takes away from my company. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and I didn't even do anything. It was an employee. It's the same thing. The dealers are kind of like the employees in an extension. Um, so they put such a bad taste in my mouth with the hideous, I mean, hideous, Customer service. I have it have X Mark telling me it should be covered here. Echo telling me it should be covered. The dealership refusing to do things and just all this, all this crap. I never bought an X Mark again. Um, you know, and on that, I think the X Marks are amazing machines. I am no like you know equipment, you know professional, you know professor expert, whatever. I am a professional, but not. I'm no engineer, but I can tell you what I like and I don't like. I don't like the upsell items that Xmark used to do. I don't know if they still do it. If you want faster pulleys, you gotta buy this, you gotta buy that. I just, I don't think that that's right. You're, you're nickel and diming your guys. Price, this is what it comes with. There is nothing else you can do to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I moved on from that. Um, and then a couple of years ago, I ended up buying um, Hustlers. There were no Husqvarna, because I wanted the Husqvarna, but there was no Husqvarna dealer, you know, that carried anything that was commercial based. So. Um, I didn't want another X mark because I didn't want to have to deal with that dealer and they're the main dealer in town that deals with X mark here So I didn't want anything to do with them. So I said heck no Somebody tried to talk me into skags. It's like eh, well, you know, no, I don't really want a skag I've never owned one. I'm speaking out of my butt. I have no idea if it's awesome or not I just don't know why I didn't want one. I'm just being honest with you. I had, I had no idea man. I mean I had driven them, but you know brand spanking new mowers. I bought a Lesko X marks, um, Hustlers, a, a Gravely, and Skag at this point. So at the point, at that time, I had not bought a new Skag before, even though I'd only used ones and, and, and what have you. Um, so I ended up um, going with Hustler because the dealer for Skag at the time that I knew of was in St. Augustine. It was too far away. So it's like I consider buying it, but if I have an issue, man, I don't want to have to drive, you know, 45 minutes one way. You know what I'm saying? In this town, we have too many dealers. So but not you know with skag at the time i didn't know anything about agpro at the time so um ended up buying hustler because i loved the dealer um that i bought it from the dealer was awesome he was an awesome guy He'd been in business you know 30 something years they were great um then he started going out of business the last couple of years the last year or so i've had problems with the hustler um there have just been mainly hydro problems um you know leaking and not working things like that um, switched over to a different dealer that started using hustler and they were great you know um uh, they just the problem is is there's just no loaners or anything so that's a big deal you know it's a big deal to be down and not have an extra mower a backup or anything like that as we're getting the commercial properties started getting into those needed big mowers so i don't need a loaner that's a 36 inch when i need like you know 60 inch mower um so for me like a big thing about um getting away from hustler on the second time around buying mowers was the dealer support mechanically warranty wise they did their job but getting the mower back anytime soon because how swamp they were was was a thing but mainly there weren't loaners you know no loaners at all so that was a deciding factor for me um, because when I went to go buy another set of mowers, the reason why that was a deciding factor for me was we ran across, um, well, first of all, you know, I had a dealer or rep, a skag rep reach out to me. I'm not going to go on and on about this. I'm going to say something to you and it's going to be legit and it's going to be straightforward and you need to consider it. I never, ever, ever had any idea that like Skag, Hustler, you know, Husqvarna, you know, Gravely, Ferris, that they have like reps, you know what I'm saying, that that you can speak to before buying a mower or, or during your purchase or after. I had no idea. So I'm not going to make a big deal out of that. But guys, find out whatever brand mower you have or you're interested in getting, find out who that rep is for that mower company and call them and talk to them. They're there to be your friend straight up. That's what they're there for. They're there to, to make sure that you buy their product and to keep you happy. Um, so you just, you just got 13 years of I didn't know this um, right now. 
Find out who your rep is for the dealer, for the brand that you want or you already have. Get in touch with them. Just build a relationship with them. Just say you wanted to reach out and say, hey, because you know you love the brand and you're, you know, you might get another one, you know, whatever. But find out who your reps are and know them, and that's that's so essential. So the Skag rep down here is top notch. That that's it. That dude is so awesome. Ken is so amazing. I mean that that dude can deliver you know our babies you know that dude is awesome like I I love him um, he made me want to buy a Skag and I'm just gonna be straight up I, I I don't get persuaded to just do things so he made me want to buy a Skag so we tried him out demoed him for a little bit um, for a couple of weeks um, then we were sold man They're like they were just amazing bad to the bone machines I liked how much faster it was um, and all that it was just tanks man. The dealer, though, once we go in there to get it, um, this place called AgPro, they have like you know, a bunch of locations in the southeast. Um, that was that sealed the deal for me. The dealer was so awesome. You ever have a breakdown, man? If we have a loaner, it's yours. You can have it. We'll try to turn things around and all that stuff. Um, so on that, we've had a bunch of issues. Only 600 hours in right now on the Skag, man, and they're replacing the transmission. I've had um, issues with it not starting. I've, I've, I've had a few issues with it, man. Um, you know, muffler issues and all that stuff. More issues than honestly I've ever seen on a mower with 600 hours on it, and that's no dig at anybody. Maybe I got a lemon. Uh, maybe something's happening, but I can assure you that it's nothing that we're doing on the, the majority of things. We blow it down, we clean them, keep them inside. Um, we, we do, we do whatever, you know, we do the best that we can do with them, you know, but 600 hours, you should not have issues where your mower shuts down and will not start, um, acts like it's starving for gas when it's not, or something's happening. Um, hydro issues, um, a couple other issues we've had. So the thing is, is the dealer had the, because the dealer is so amazing, I would buy another Skag Cheetah. The dealer is so good that I would buy another mower um, from them um, with, the, with the mower I have now so young having issues because I'm so confident that if I do end up getting that mower again, um, that maybe I won't have a limit and everything will be fine. But if I do end up having issues that I have 100,000 gajillion million percent um, confidence in my dealer and that is why I would buy another mower from them like that. In this situation... Um, I will take the dealer over the brand, okay? Now, you will have situations, going back on your Skag rep, you will have situations where you love the brand so much that you don't care about the dealer, but you have issues with the dealer, um, that your priority is brand, not the dealer. And you're like, well, crap, I love this mower, but I hate my dealer. That's where the rep comes in. The rep most likely will get something handled and taken care of for you if your dealer's just being a punk. You know what I'm saying? If you're in the right, the dealer's in the wrong, you get that rep involved and you will see the difference. You'll see what happens. Um, so for me, I like certain brands, right? Uh, but the dealer support for the first time ever, honestly, has made me want to buy a mower without even thinking about it, instead of making me not want to buy a mower. Um, Gravely just informed me that the dealer they're moving to, um, they're moving out from that dealer that I told you guys earlier that I just would not buy a mower from because that's how bad they were. Um, just like the Xmark dealer, they were so bad. I just I never bought another piece of equipment. Anything that happened, I ordered it from somebody else. Or if there recently has been another Xmark dealer, small company, um, and I like them. So I'm just not an Xmark guy, so I'm not going to buy an Xmark anyway. I've been wanting. A gravely bad though so um, we're probably gonna end up getting rid of the hustler and uh, because they just didn't know loaners or anything like that um, we just need that you know we really need that and it's not that there aren't loaners here or there there's never a loaner you know for us so um, and if you don't have that option across the board no big deal I'm not trying to sound like a spool little brat here what I'm trying to say is we have those options here so there are dealers that give that to you so I would rather work with those dealers that give that to me because I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not keeping a mower for 10 years. I'm really not. Maybe four years, three or four years max, I'm getting rid of it. Because um, I'm just, I'm not going to just, um, I'm not going to start putting, you know, half the money and keeping it running as I did buying it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so right now, we're looking to get rid of the, um, get rid of the Hustler and get um, some Gravelys. I want the 60-inch Gravelys. 
Um, I've had obviously being an ambassador, we've had opportunities to to see them hang around. You know, first of all, let me say something: the the Aaron's family off the chain, amazing people, their company as a whole, all that stuff. Are they giving us the mowers? <laughs> I wish. We're paying for them and we're buying them. Um, but I, I've always been a Gravely fan, but that dealer ruined it for me. And it's been a long time coming, but they finally switched it over. You know why they switched it over? Because they listen to what we have to say. They listen to us. They listen to some little nobody dude here in a town full of 2 million people. And they took that into such consideration that that was part of moving um, their mowers into another dealer. You know what I mean? So... Um, that's that's the whole part of this whole YouTube community is how awesome it is that you influence these companies to go, well, these people don't like it. You know, they make up a huge market, you know, share of this entire thing. Um, let's listen to them. And they did and they do. And it's awesome. So we're going to get rid of the hustler. We're buying a Gravely. Um, and uh, that's the next thing. Um, I don't know what we're going to buy after that. I'm going to see how the new dealer deals with Gravely. Um, and if they're okay, then that's awesome. If they suck, I'll go to the Gravely rep. I'm gonna get those next, and hopefully the de if the dealer support sucks, then the brand's not gonna matter to me. If the dealer support is horrible, I don't care how much I love a mower, I'm not gonna buy one. Um, I'll buy something I don't care as much for with the awesome dealer. Um, so you guys, um, let me know what you think. So again, my whole thing is, for me personally, my vote is dealer support. If you don't have that, and you don't have that option, go to your rep but you guys leave me a comment down below let me know you know like what what is your vote basically if you were to go buy a mower tomorrow are you going to buy that mower solely on the brand and then not worry about the dealer or are you going to focus more on the dealer um, and then the brand and if you can have the brand with the dealer um, you got your cake and eat it too and i got that with skag because i do love skag dude it's they're they're awesome you know we've we bought a couple of them um i do love them the dealership makes me love them even more i'm having lemon problems with this skag cheetah man really bad really really bad problems man um the the gear won't you know the it won't shift into the overdrive the high speed gear that's locked up the transmission's fried you know having all kinds of issues but you know what I'll, I would buy another one um, because the dealer's so awesome. But I'm kicking it back. I'm looking forward to this Gravely dealer. Um, so hopefully we have one of those soon. Um, but that's just my thing, man. Um, it's if if the Gravely dealer is not good, I will try the rep. You know, I'll try the rep um, to go that route. But I have a feeling it's all going to work out. But anyways, um, I just want to bring this to your attention. Do you prefer the dealer or do you prefer the brand? Which one is your priority and then your secondary? You know what I'm saying? Which one's your major? Which one is your minor? Do not forget, contact your rep for that mower because they can just do, they can do wonders for you, man. All right, guys, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think and uh, peace out.